Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin. Okay, I had a question from someone on YouTube. Uh, Derek was asking, how would you solve this problem? Well, this is just a multi-step equation. And what you do is you look at your procedures and you start solving it. The first thing you want to do is combine like terms. That phrase, if you hear it and you don't know what you're talking about, it's okay, no one knows. Combine like terms means you're going to go look at one side of the equal sign. We're going to split right here at the equal. We're just going to look at this side. We're going to see if there's anything that's similar that we can put together. Okay, do the same thing over here. This side over here is easy because there's nothing else over here. So you're done putting these things together because 14 is just hanging out. So over here, combining like terms means if it's like something with an X like this, it'll go together with stuff with the X. But we're going to have to do our procedures first because we got some stuff over here that needs to be simplified a little bit. All right, so you'll use your please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, we're going to start with our parentheses. Can we do what's inside those parentheses right there? No, because X and minus 2, you can't combine those little guys. Can't play an Xbox game on a PlayStation. So let's look at exponents. There's no exponents. Multiply, that's where we come in. This right here, remember? This means multiply. All right, now if you've got a number out here, that means you're going to multiply it by everything in there. It's also called <gasps> distribute. Very good. So we distribute it in there. 3 times X is 3X. 3 times 2, negative 2 is negative 6. And then we'll just bring the rest of the stuff down. Now, here's where combining like terms comes into play. One thing you can do if you've got a really long equation on this side, start at this side and just circle it. That way we don't miss anything. What can 3x combine with? Can't combine with negative 6, but it can combine with negative 2. All right, so 3x plus 2 is 5x. Then we mark it out. That way we don't combine it again and we can see stuff we've left over. Only thing left over there is minus 6 equals 14. Next step, we need to get rid of that negative 6. How do we get what's the opposite of minusing 6? Adding 6. And why do we do the opposites? So that we can get rid of it on the side that we want to get rid of it on. Because negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So therefore 5x plus 0 is the same as saying 5x. Then we just do 14 plus 6 is 20. What's the opposite of 5 times x? It'd be dividing by 5. And x would equal 4. And you're done. Now, a way you can always check these equations is by taking your original equation, plugging that 4 in for x there and there. And then just solve it and see if it actually ends up being 14 on this side equal to 14 on this side. If it does, you did it right. Okay? And you're done. Hey, Tyler, hey, Tyler here. Don't forget, Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. You heard the man. Go ahead and go to TarverAcademy.com. Check out the Facebook. Hit me questions on Twitter. And check out my other YouTube. Everybody else is doing it. Okay, bye-bye.